Listen, Jesus is God and is the Son of God, which means that Jesus the Father is God and his body is the Son. In the book of John chapter 4 verse 24, the scripture says that God is spirit and his worshiper must worship him in spirit and the truth. So, God is spirit and his body is the Son and his body is the church. For the scripture says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 11, it says that, for there is no any other foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. The body of Jesus Christ is the foundation, which is the church. So the church is the foundation, is the beginning. So Jesus Christ is the beginning and the end. In the book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 7, Jesus Christ is the Alpha and Omega. So is the beginning and the end. Is the one who laid the foundation, the church. And the church is the firstborn son of God. Jesus is the firstborn son of God. Jesus in human flesh is the firstborn son of God, which is the church. And as we are the church, because the scripture says in the book of in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17, the scripture says, He who joined himself with the Lord become one with him in spirit so we are one with god in spirit because god is spirit and his worshiper must worship him in him in spirit and the truth so god is spirit and us we are the follower of jesus christ and we are one spiritually so we are christian because his name is jesus christ we are Christian, the firstborn son of God. We are the first church. So there is a, no any other church except Jesus Christ. And that, that's why he said in the book of John chapter 14 verse 6, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no any other way except me so there is no any other way except jesus christ so the church is jesus christ there is no any other church except jesus christ so accept jesus christ in your life so that you can receive eternal life you can inherit the kingdom of god because the son in the sons is heirs the kingdom of God. So the church is the firstborn son of God. And as we are followers, because we obey the word of God, we follow the word of God, who is Jesus Christ. That's what that's why we are being called Christian, the firstborn son of God. So be blessed and be blessed. May God bless you.